guys, it's Jess with Farago Fitness bringing you another full length one hour hip workout. We're gonna go ahead and get started right away. So uh, pause this video and get some music playing if you'd like to have some music on. Make sure your water bottle is close by your mat. We're gonna get started with the warm up. So for our warm up, we're gonna start with just some alternating lunges with a twist with your upper body. Don't worry about getting super low in your lunge right now. We're just warming up. Get in the juices flowing here a little bit. So you're turning in the direction of your front leg. So my front leg is from my right leg. So I'm turning to the right. Okay, a nice twist for the last little bit. We're gonna raise our arms up, sinking a little bit lower into that lunge, good. 10 more seconds here. Last one. Good, so we're gonna come facing forward now, pulling down with our arms, pulling our knee up to our chest. So format of our workout today, same as always, two 12 minute full body hit circuits. We're gonna do six exercises, 30 seconds on with a 10 second break. Repeat that three times, so a total of 12 minutes, we're going to do two of those, then we're going to do an eight minute core circuit and finish off with about 10 to 15 minutes of yoga depending on how much time we have. Let's try to pick it up a little bit, do these a little bit faster, really engaging those lower abs to get that knee up. Last couple seconds here. Now we're gonna come facing forward again. We're gonna squat, tap our heel out in front. Do a little bit of chest opener with our arms here. My kids, my two-year-old is down for a nap. My four-year-old is in her room having quiet time. So hopefully she abides by the quiet time rules and we don't see her bursting into this video at some point. <laughs> They're great at staying in the room for quiet time until the one day you actually need them to be gone for an hour. Okay, we have 20 more seconds here, so let's pick it up a little bit. Got my mat taped down again today. So hopefully it doesn't go flying around on me again. Okay, so now we're gonna come to the side of our mat. We're gonna do a knee up, shuffle across the mat, squat down, knee up, shuffle across. Starting to breathe hard already. Getting nice and warm. Was it last week? I was filming a video and it was minus 33 <laughs> Celsius. Today it's plus five. <laughs> I might be a little overdressed. I'm gonna be really sweating in my tights for this one. Good job, keep it going. So if you're new to my class, or you have any joint concerns, or any reason why you need to keep this low impact, for any of the jumping movements, just take out the jump. Simple as that, do the same motion, just without any jumping. Okay, so our last one, jumping jacks. Again, if you want to take out the jump, just alternating side steps. So for the last 30 seconds, we're gonna work our brains here a little bit. For every second one, we're gonna bring our arms to the front. Up, front, up, front. Good. Almost done here. 
Whoop, get myself mixed up. There we are. Keep it going right to the end. Last couple seconds. All right, hope you're warm. I'm feeling warm. I'm gonna go through and demo our first round of six exercises. While I'm doing that, feel free to either copy along with me, especially for the exercises that might be a little bit more complicated, or just keep doing a side step or a little bit of a shuffle, anything to kind of keep you warmed up. So our first of our six exercises, we're gonna straddle our mat, facing sideways, we're gonna squat down, touching the mat, we're not hinging over at the hips to touch the mat. Nice low squat, touch the mat, jump your feet into the center, back out. It's a nice wide jump squat. Okay? Then we're going to come down on our mats for a push up uh, with a sit back. So we're going to try to work into our backs while we're doing these push ups. So either from your toes or your knees, you're going to do a regular push up. Then you're going to, with straight arms, push yourself back so that your bum is hovering over your heels. Then using your back to pull yourself forward. We're using these muscles in our back, our lats to push ourselves back and then pull ourselves forward again, okay? So you're not pushing off with your toes, you're trying to engage these muscles down the sides of your back here to push yourself back and forward. So we we'll do a push up, sit back, push up, sit back. Keep going through that for 30 seconds. You can do these from your knees. But I'm gonna do a no push up burpee. We all know burpee. So I'm going to start with a jump, coming down into a plank, no push-up, feet to hands, jump. If you have any concerns about your low back, instead of jumping back into your plank, just step your feet back. Be gentle on your lower back. We're then going to come down onto our backs for a single leg glute bridge. So, <clears throat> flat on our backs. We're going to start on the right leg, so our right heel is nice and close to our bum. Our left leg is up in the air so that our knees stay level with each other. This leg is not hiking forward, staying nice and level. You're going to drive off the heel of your right foot to drive your hips into the air. Okay. If that's too much, keep your, both your feet down and just do a regular glute bridge. And then when we come around to do the left side, just do this again. So you'll be doing this twice if you're going to keep your feet on the floor. So after our right leg glute bridge, we're going to turn over into mountain climbers. Running your feet into your chest as quick as you can. Try to keep a nice flat back. Then we're going to flip back over, do the glute bridge on the left leg. Or if you're keeping both your feet on the floor, you're just going to repeat that glute bridge again. So we're going to get started straddling our mat, facing one direction, squat down to touch the mat, jumping our feet back in. I'm going to get our timer going, so as soon as you hear our buzzer, we're on. Here we go, squatting low, jump it in. Try to point your toes a little bit out so that you're working more into your inner thighs. It's more like a sumo squat jump. Halfway done. We have 10 seconds left here. Getting nice and low. Again, not hinging to touch your mat. If you can't quite get low enough to touch your mat, no worries. Just get as low as you can. Into our push up with a sit back. So coming down onto our mat, try it from your toes. If you can only do one from your toes, great. So push up, using your back to push yourself back and pull yourself forward. Push up, sit back and forward. Back, forward. Whenever you need to, drop to your knees. Push yourself back, pull yourself forward. You really need to think about these back muscles, your lats along the side of your back, to engage them here. Good. Come on up into a no push up burpee. Take a couple deep breaths. We're going to start with a jump. So, jumping up, out to a plank, feet back to hands, and jumping high. Remember, if it's hard on your back, just step your feet back, step them forward. And jump. Halfway done. Ten seconds left. Good. Coming 
coming down onto your back for a single leg glute bridge. We'll start with our right leg. So your right heel is nice close to your bum. Hands are flat on the floor. Left leg in the air. Using your bum on your right leg to drive your hips up to high into the sky. If that's too challenging, drop your foot down and do it with both feet on the floor. Really thinking about clenching those glutes, driving through the heels to get your hips in the air. If you can do it with one leg, keep it going. Good. Flipping ourselves over into mountain climbers. So in a plank position, nice solid plank, running those knees into the chest. I almost always do these in class because I hate them and I will never do them on my own. So <laughs> I do it in class, so I have to do them. They're so good, but so not fun. Keep it going strong. Okay, coming onto our back for a glute bridge on the other side. Left leg is bent, heel is close to your bum, right leg in the air. Using those, that bum to drive your hips up high. Think about driving through the heel. Again, you can have both feet on the floor anytime you need to. If you can do it one-legged, keep that going with me. Your bum just touches the ground here just barely before your back up. Okay, come on up. Take a few deep breaths, especially if you get dizzy going from the floor to standing. We're doing our straddle jumps. Straddling your mat, getting low, touch the mat, jump your feet in. We're starting again from the top here. Already went through that once. On our second round. Seconds left. Good. Coming down to our mat for push up with a sit back. Catch your breath. Here we go. Pushing up, pressing yourself back, pulling yourself forward. This is not a down dog. You're bending your knees to push your bum back so it hovers above your ankles. Good job, keep it going. 10 seconds left. You got this, guys. Good, come on up into a no push-up burpee. So we'll start with the jump, back to a plank, back into our jump. Nice and high, controlled on those planks, feet to hands, and another jump. I do have low back problems. I can jump my feet back, I just need to do it a little slow to make sure I'm focusing on form and not letting my low back cave in. Last three seconds. Good. Coming down for a single leg glute bridge on our right leg. A couple deep breaths. Right heel is nice and close to your bum. Using that glute on that right side to drive your hips up nice and high. You can come right down to rest if you need to. Try to just let your butt graze the floor before you're going back up again. Flip on over into mountain climbers. Catch your breath here. Here we go. Try to look about a foot in front of your mat so you're not just letting your head hang. 
We're not staring at our belly button. You can just take it to a walk in too if you're starting to get tired. But if you can keep it at a run, let's do it. Almost done, guys. Just a few seconds left. Good. Coming down onto your back for a glute bridge on your left side. Hands down to the floor for support. You might find you're stronger on one side than the other. This is my stronger side. Really using those hip, that glute to drive your hips nice and high. And put that foot down to the floor anytime you need to. If you can do it, keep it going. Put that leg in the air. Okay, come on up. Starting through this one more time. Straddling your mat, facing one side. Catch your breath. Here we go. Squat down and touch. Jumping your feet in. You can pause this video anytime you need to. If you need a little bit of extra rest, try to keep it going if you can. Four more minutes left here at work. And then we'll take a nice long break before we start the next one. up with a sit back, coming down to your mat, either on your toes or your knees. Catching your breath here for a second. Setting up. Here we go. Really using those lats to push yourself back. And pull yourself forward. You might need to dig your fingertips into your mat to pull yourself forward again. Good, come on up. Last time we're doing burpees. No push-up burpees. To the front of your mat, starting with a jump. Here we go, jump it high and back into a plank. You can always step back, step forward, and come up onto your toes. If you want to take out that jump entirely, you can still power up with your legs and just come onto your toes if you want to take out the jump. Or if you can, keep that jump going. Five seconds left here. Whew, good. Down onto our mat for a single leg glute bridge. Right leg is on the floor, left leg in the air. Last time. Good job. You got this, guys. Whew. Then you're almost done. Our first 12-minute cycle. One more minute of work after this. Keep going strong. Turning over for out and climbers. Catch your breath. Here we go. In a plank. Run it. Remember, you can always take it to more of a march if you need to. If you can, keep it running in with me. 15 seconds left. Nice and strong in the core. Guys, 
grab a drink of water, walk around a little bit, try not to just sit down. All right, you guys keep taking your break. I'm gonna go through and demo the next six exercises. So same thing as before, try to keep moving while I'm doing this so you stay nice and warm, or especially if it's a more complicated um, exercise, try to follow along with me so that when we get to it in the workout, you know what we're doing. <clears throat> okay, so our first one is a, a forward lunge with a kickback. So we're right leg is gonna be forward, left leg is back. We're gonna sink down into a lunge. Knee is just barely grazing the floor. Front knee is directly over your front angle. You're gonna shift your weight and do a kickback. So you're using the glute on your left leg to drive your left heel to the sky, sinking back down to a lunge, back up to a kickback. You're gonna stay on the same leg for the full 30 seconds. You can put your hand on a wall if you need to. We're then going to do scapula push-ups with shoulder taps. So a scapula push-up. Scapula are your shoulder blades back here. So what we do in a scapula push-up is we come into a high plank. Our elbows stay straight. We are going to sink down by pulling our shoulder blades together, allowing our chest to sink down towards the floor. Then you're going to pull your shoulder blades apart and push away from the floor. Your elbows are staying straight the whole time. The whole movement is coming from between your shoulder blades. We're gonna do three scapula push-ups with shoulder taps. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, tap, tap. One, two, three, tap, tap. Remember, when you pick your hands up off the floor to tap your shoulders, you're keeping your hips level. You're not letting one hip jack up to the sky. Then we're gonna do a lunge with a rear kickback on the left leg. So left leg forward, sinking down into a lunge, getting your balance, kicking back, sinking back down, kicking back. Whew, I'm gonna need to crack a window. I am sweating in here. <clears throat> then we're gonna go into some cardio moves, butt kickers, so kicking your bum behind you as quick as you can. You can also take this to a jumping butt kicker if you're so motivated. So you're going to jump, kicking your butt with both feet. Or just like the rest of us, kick, it, kick your bum one foot at a time. We're then gonna go into bicep curl punches. So we're gonna stand with a bit of a bend in our leg, arms at our side in a curl. We don't have any weights, so you're going to flex your biceps as hard as you can. From here, I'm gripping my hands tight, punch, 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 okay? Keeping those biceps nice and tight, nice and flexed, punching, alternating side to side, nice and strong. Never losing that tension in your biceps. Last one, again for cardio, we're going to do long ski lunges. So starting at one side of your mat, you're gonna jump as far laterally as you can, bringing that foot behind you, Jumping the other direction. You want to cover a lot of distance, okay, to keep your heart rate up. You good? Ready to get going. So I'm going to start our timer here. Right leg is forward for a static lunge, and then a kickback with our left glute. Okay, on our buzzer, get yourself set up. Here we go, sinking low, get your balance, kick your heel to the sky. Sinking low, kick it up. Should be really feeling that in your bum, especially after those glute bridges. Remember, you can always put your hand on a wall if you need to. Five seconds left. Should be feeling that in your right thigh as well. Good. Whew. Down onto the mat for our scapula push-ups with two shoulder taps. In a high plank, this one takes a bit of thinking. Sinking your chest down, pushing away. Elbows are straight. You're 
you're just using your shoulder blades. Once you do three, tap one shoulder, tap the other shoulder, sink it back down. Shoulder blades come together, and then push away. Tap, tap. 10 seconds left. You can do these from your knees if you need to. Good. Come on up. Left leg forward for a lunge. Kicking back with our right leg. Sinking low in that lunge. Get your balance. Driving that heel to the sky. Using the glute, your right glute. To get that leg up nice and high. Sinking low in your lunge. Driving that right heel to the sky with your kickback. Five seconds left. Good. All right, we're coming into butt kickers. Either regular butt kickers, or you can do the jumping ones if you want to, or a combination of both. Here we go. Run in with your arms. Getting those heels right up to your bum. If you want to, go ahead and do the jumping. I'm gonna keep, keep with the regular ones. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Almost there. Keep it going strong. Good. Bicep curl punches. A bit of a bend to the legs. Elbows into your side. Flexing those biceps as much as you can. Here we go. Punch. Keeping your abs nice and tight. Nice, strong little punches. You're flexing those biceps the whole time. Doesn't look like much, but this burns. 15 seconds left, halfway there. Nice and strong. Big exhales. Good. Couple seconds left. Whew. In toward a fast or lateral ski lunges. We're traveling as far laterally as we can. I'm gonna come forward on my mat so I don't kick my fireplace. Here we go. Big jump. That back leg is crossing behind your body. We're using the outer glute to drive ourselves back across the mat. Good. As far as you can, you can take out the jump. Remember, anytime you want to, and just do a big step. No worries. Whatever's right for you. Almost done, and then we're starting from the top. Good. Our right leg is forward. Starting from the top with our lunges with a kick back. In your breath, dropping down low in your lunge, driving that heel to the sky. Good. Remember, grab onto a wall if you're losing your balance. It's really good to just work one side of your body sometimes instead of alternating sides. So you get a feel for where you might have weaknesses. Good. Coming down for scapula push-ups with shoulder taps. Catching your breath in a high plank or from your knees. Dropping your shoulder blades together. Pushing them apart for three. Elbows stay straight. And then tap one shoulder. Tap the opposite shoulder. Keeping your hips level. Two. Three, tap, tap. Drop to your knees at any time. It's the same motion from our knees. Tap, tap. Good. Come on up. Our left leg is forward now for a lunge with a kickback. Here we go. Dropping low, getting your balance, kicking up. I need to keep my arms out of my sides like an airplane. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my balance. If you are holding onto a wall, 
Just barely touch the wall, just as much as you need to to get your balance. Don't be pulling yourself up with the wall. Good. Into our butt kickers, either regular butt kickers or two-legged jumping butt kickers. Nice fast arms. Here we go. We're almost done this round. And we're only going to do it one more time. Good job, guys. Ten seconds left. If you're doing jumping butt kickers, you're a beast. I'm not. <laughs> Good, coming into our bicep curl punches. Nice bend to the knees, tight abs, flexing those biceps the whole time. It's not a big punch, just a little jab to the front. Just bringing those arms in line with your body, not swinging all the way back here. Little punches with nice tight biceps. Clench, really flex. Hard as you can. Good. Five seconds left here. Nice tight abs. Good job. Shake out those arms. Into our ski lunges, traveling as far laterally as you can. Starting on one side of your mat. Here we go. Big jump. Crossing that back leg behind your body. Good. Thinking about the outer hip of your front leg every time you power off to jump. It's a very neglected part of our body, our glute knee, that muscle on the outside of your hip. Let's make it work. After this, we're starting again from the top. One more round, four more minutes. Right leg is forward for a lunge or the kick back. Catching your breath, a few deep breaths. Pause anytime you need to. If you can, try to keep it going for four more minutes. It's okay if you lose your balance a bit. Fifteen seconds left here. Couple seconds, keep it going strong. Whew. Coming down to our mat for scapula push-ups from your toes or your knees. Whew. Setting up in a plank. Here we go. Scapula come together and they push apart. Shoulder blades squeeze together, pressing apart three times. And then a shoulder tap and a shoulder tap. Remember, you're keeping those hips level during your shoulder taps. You're not letting one of them hike up to the ceiling. I'm going to drop to my knees for the last few seconds. It's getting challenging. Working those neglected muscles in our upper back. Left leg is forward for a lunge and a kick back. We're almost done, guys. You're doing awesome. Here we go. Sinking low. Getting that heel up high in the back. Nice straight leg. Fifteen seconds left here, guys. You got this. Sinking nice and low in your lunge. Keeping good form even when you're tired. Good job. Butt kickers. Either single leg or jumping legs. Here we go. Nice and fast. Let's try to keep up the speed for these last few minutes here. I can just see in the reflection of my old iPad I'm using to film this. I've got a glare coming in through that window there, so hopefully it's not affecting the video too much, because I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Keep it going nice and fast. All right, we got two more exercises in this circuit, guys. Bent legs. Flexing those biceps. Showing off those muscles you've worked for. Here we go. Little punches. Core is tight. 
flexing those biceps the whole time. Little punches. Nice and strong. Good job. Almost there. This is hard. 10 seconds left. My arms are burning. Keep going. Let's go. Faster. Oh, shake out those arms. Last one. Our lateral ski lunges. We're traveling as far side to side as we can. Starting on one side of your mat. Here we go. Big job. Powering off with that outer hip. Traveling the whole distance of your mat if you can or farther. Or if you can need to take out the jump, go ahead and just do a big step. But if you can, keep it going with the jump with me. 10 seconds left. Good job, guys. Take a break, grab a drink of water, keep moving around, try not to sit, definitely don't lay down. All right, you guys keep taking your rest time. Our next, our next circuit is going to be eight minutes of core. So it's the same idea, two or six exercises, 30 seconds on with a 10 second break, but we're only gonna go through it twice because three times is a lot for just working your abs. So our first exercise, we're gonna be down on our mat, leaning back on our hands. We're going to do wide leg raises. So your legs are approximately the width of your mat a little bit farther. You're gonna use your lower abs to bring your legs up and together. You can also do this with bent knees. Bringing your feet together in the center. We're then gonna do twisted in and outs. So now dropping down a little bit farther onto your forearms. Legs are out in front of you. You're gonna draw your knees into your chest, twisting to one side, Back out, twisting to the other side. If that's too much, stay here and just do windshield wipers and drop your knees from side to side. We're then gonna flip onto our front into a plank position. We're gonna do cross body mountain climbers. So in the first full body circuit, we did mountain climbers, but we were running. We're trying to do it fast for our cardio. We're gonna slow it down here so we can really focus on our abs. So you're gonna bring your knee to your opposite elbow. It's gonna hover there for a second, go back, switch legs. So from a high plank position, take my right knee over to my left elbow and hover, then place it back down. Left knee to my right elbow and hover, place it back down. These are difficult to do from your knees. So if it's too hard to do it from a plank position, find a coffee table or a bench or something and put your hands up on that and elevate your upper body to make it easier. <clears throat> We're gonna turn back around, sit on our bums in a V-sit. So sitting back with your back nice and straight, your feet can be off the ground if you wanna make it more challenging or keep your heels on the ground. Arms overhead, you're gonna bend to one side, touch the floor, come back to center, bend to the other side, touch the floor. Not sitting totally up straight, you're still engaging your whole abdominal wall Bending side to side, keeping a lean um, backwards. <clears throat> We're then gonna drop onto a uh, side plank on one side. You're gonna come up either onto your feet or your knees. We're gonna do three pulses. Two, three. Turn so you're in a front plank. Pause for a second, then rotate to the other side. Three pulses. Back to the front, back to the other side. Three pulses. And our last one is for our lower back. We're gonna do Superman's with a flutter kick. So coming onto your stomach, we're going, you can lift your upper body off the ground if you want to and flutter kick with your legs. Or if that's too much, leave your upper body on the floor and just flutter kick with your legs. Okay? You're ready to get started. Eight more minutes of hard work. Then we're gonna cool it down with some beginner yoga. So I'm gonna get our buzzer going here. Get yourself set up in your wide leg raises. Leaning back on your hands, feet are on either sides of your mat. On the buzzer, here we go. So 
So we're bringing our legs up and together. Big exhale. Lowering back down. Big exhale. Remember, you can do these with bent knees. Just make sure you're using your lower abs to pull your legs up as opposed to just pulling them together with your thighs and your hip flexors. This is a lower ab exercise. All right, coming back onto our forearms for twisted in and outs. Legs are straight. Bring them into your chest, into the side, back straight. Alternating sides. Or just dropping your knees from side to side. If it's too much to straighten them. This is a very challenging exercise, so if you can do it with straight legs for the first 5-10 seconds, go for it. Then bend your knees and just drop them side to side. Challenge yourself. Good. Whew. Into our crossbody mountain climbers. So coming into a front plank, you can elevate your hands off the floor if you need to. Right knee to your left elbow and hover. Put it back down. Other side. Good. Halfway there. Try to keep it nice and slow if you can. Five seconds left. Keep it going. Elevate your hands if you need to for the next round. Good. Coming back to sit on our bums. In a V-sit. So your feet are bent or your knees are bent. Feet are either on the mat or in the air. Leaning back. Arms up overhead. Bending from one side to the other. Halfway done. Whew, my abs are burning already. A few more seconds here. Okay, coming into a side plank. Three pulses, rotating to a front plank, then to the other side for three pulses. Here we go. One, two, three, to the front. Rotate to the other side. One, two, three, to the front. Then the other side. Go at your own pace. Almost done. Last few seconds. Okay, dropping down onto your stomach. We're doing Superman's with a flutter kick. So you can hold your upper body off the floor the whole time. You're flutter kicking with your legs. Or if that's too challenging, drop down and just kick with your legs. You can either have your hands extended overhead or fingers by your ears. My shoulders are burning from this workout, so I'm gonna keep my fingers by my ears. Nice little flutter kicks, getting into that low back, and a little bit more glute work, just for good measure. After this, we're starting from the top for one more round. Good. Coming back up to seated, leaning back on your hands, we're doing the wide leg raises. Either bent or straight legs. Big exhale as you bring your feet up. Nice and slow and controlled so you're not letting your feet slam back down to the floor. It's all with control. Remember, bend your knees at any time. Same motion, your feet are coming together in the middle, dropping to either side of your mat. Good, drop down onto your forearms for our twisted in and outs. If you can, if not, you're just dropping your knees from side to side. Legs are extended, bringing them in. The closer to the floor you get, the harder it's gonna be. You can also just bring them up here to make it a little easier. Or rocking side to side. 15 seconds left here, guys. Keep it going. Five seconds. Good, 
good. Turning onto our fronts for our mountain climbers. Bring your knee to the opposite elbow, letting it hover, and then doing it on the other side. Good. Exhale as you bring that knee across to the elbow. Elevate your hands if you need to. Good. Coming back to seated. Leaning back in the V-sit, either feet on the mat or in the air. Arms overhead. Bending from side to side to touch the floor. The more upright you are, the easier it's going to be. So if you want to increase the difficulty, lean back a little farther or kick your feet up off the floor. I'm going to keep mine down on the floor because I'm already working hard enough. Last few seconds. Good. Turning onto your side for our rotating planks. Two more exercises here and then we're going to do some yoga. Into a side plank, either on your feet or on your knees. Three pulses. One, two, three. Rotate to the front. Switching sides. One, two, three. Back to the front. Rotating side to side. One, two, three. Good. Keep it going strong right up to the end, guys. A few seconds left. Woo, losing my balance. Okay, dropping down onto your stomach. Superman's with a flutter kick. Last 30 seconds here. Bring your upper body up. Your left, uh, lower body is doing flutter kicks. Or keep your upper body down on the mat if this is too challenging. 15 seconds left of work here, you guys. Finish it strong. Last couple seconds. Keeping that upper body up if you can. Activity completed. Activity completed. I love that voice. Good job, you guys. That was not an easy core workout. So, get yourself set up for some yoga. Change the music, something a little bit more calming if you've got some good workout tunes going. And we're going to get ourselves going here in a second. Grab a drink of water. Heels are slightly apart, abs are in tight. Inhale as you raise your arms up overhead. Exhale as you hinge from the hips to fold forward. We're going to just bend one knee and then the other, stretching out into your hips, your hamstrings a little bit. Bending your knees as much as you need to to touch the floor in front of you or bring your hands to your shins, whatever is more comfortable. We're going to try to straighten our legs and as much as you can into a forward fold and hold this fold for a second. Bring your hands to your shins. Come halfway up with a flat back and look forward. Bending your knees to touch the mat. Stepping back into a plank. Slowly lowering yourself to the floor. Turning your feet over so all ten toes press down into the mat. A little cobra. Tucking your toes under, pressing yourself back up to a high plank, back to a down dog. We're going to bend one knee and then the other here as we always do. Just stretch into our calves a little bit more. Should feel really nice. 
Pressing both heels down towards the floor, hips are high. Looking forward between your hands, stepping your feet up to your hands, and folding forward. Inhale as you rise up, bringing your arms overhead and your hands down to your heart. One more time, big toes touching, heels are separated. I'm dripping all over myself here. Inhale as we raise our arms up, shoulders are down away from our ears. Exhale as you hinge from the hip to fold forward. Hands to your shins, come halfway up with a flat back and look forward. Bending your knees as much as you need to, placing your hands on the mat, stepping back into a plank, slowly lowering ourselves to the floor, turning your feet over so all ten toes are pointing down into the mat, a little cobra, my cat's going to come say hi, sorry about that, <laughs> tucking your toes under, pressing up to a high plank, pressing your hips back to a down dog. Bicycling one foot and then the other. Stretching both heels down towards the mat. Pushing your cat out of the way as needed. Looking forward. Stepping your feet up to meet your hands. Sinking forward into a forward fold one more time. As you inhale, raise your arms up overhead, bring your hands back to your heart. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale as your arms come up. Exhale as you fold forward. Hands to your shins, come halfway up and look forward. Bending your knees to put your hands on the mat, stepping back into a plank, lowering down to the floor. Pressing all ten toes into the mat, you can do a cobra again, or an up dog. Whole body is off the mat. And tucking your toes under, pressing back into a down dog. Raising our right foot up into the air. Bringing it forward and placing your right ankle up by your left wrist for pigeon. Sinking down. As much as is comfortable for you, we're going to hold this for a full minute. Sinking a little bit deeper, relaxing a little bit more into that right hip with every breath. Pressing yourself back up onto your hands, we're going to tuck the left toes under, pressing back into a down dog. Raising that right leg up to the sky before you place it down on the mat next to your left leg. And we're going to raise our left leg up, bringing it forward so your left ankle is up by your right wrist. Stretching down into pigeon on the left side. If you can only stay up here, that's fine. Do whatever is right for you so you get a nice stretch in your left hip. If this is hard at all on your knees, Turn over onto your back, cross one ankle over the opposite knee, and pull that into your chest. Otherwise, if you're able to take pigeon, keep holding it here for another 30 seconds or so, sinking nice and deep. Relaxing into that left hip with every breath. our hands to the mat, pressing ourselves up, tucking the right toes under, pressing back into a down dog, 
Left leg up to the sky before you place it down left next to your right foot. We're going to raise our right leg up to the sky again, stepping it forward between your hands. Then we're going to pivot our feet so our toes are facing the long edge of the mat. Hands to your hips with a flat back. We're going to come up to standing. Interlace our fingers behind our back, stretching through our chest, and then folding forward, letting your arms rise up over your head. Releasing your hands back down to the mat. We're going to walk them over towards our right foot. As much as we can, you might touch your foot, you might touch your shin, whatever is comfortable for you. Walking our hands back to center and over to the left side. You might find you have more flexibility on one side than the other. Bringing your hands back to center. Hands to your hips. Coming up with a flat back, you're going to step your left foot forward to the front of your mat to meet your right foot. We're going to inhale and raise our arms up overhead. Exhale, folding forward again. Inhale, come halfway up and look forward. Exhale. Placing your hands on the mat, stepping back into a plank, lowering down, coming into either up dog or cobra, tucking your toes under, pressing back into down dog. Raising your right foot up to the sky, look forward, step it through so your foot comes between your hands, dropping your left knee down to the floor, hands to your right knee. Pressing forward into a low lunge. We're going to take our hands, interlace our fingers behind our back again. And now we're going to add a little chest stretch in here while we stay nice and low in our lunge. I think my dog interrupted the last video and now my cat's bugging me for this one. Releasing your hands. <clears throat> Bringing your hands down to the mat, stepping your right foot back into a down dog. Raising your right foot up to the sky, looking forward, stepping your left foot up between your hands, dropping your right knee down to the floor, bringing your hands up onto your left knee for a lunge on this side. This time we're going to interlace our fingers and press forward to stretch into that upper back. That should be sore after those scapula push-ups. Trying to stay low in your lunge as you press forward with your hands. Let's take some balance. Hands back to that left knee. Hands down to the mat. Stepping your left foot back to your right foot into a down dog. Now shift your weight forward into a high plank and lower yourself all the way to your stomach. We're going to reach back with our right hand grabbing our left or our right foot, sorry, and pulling that heel towards our bum for a quad stretch. Releasing that foot, reaching back with your left hand to grab your left foot and pulling that heel into your bum. Now if you can, we're going to reach back with our right hand, grabbing our right foot. So we're hanging on to both of our feet, pressing your feet into your hands. Rising up into bow. 
Sorry, my cat is just scratching the couch. You keep your bow while I get my cat off the couch. <laughs> okay, releasing that bow pose. Coming back onto your belly. We're gonna rise up onto our knees and press back into a child's pose. Rising up onto all fours. Last one, we're gonna do some cat-cow stretches. So arching your back down, bringing your chest through, looking up. Then rounding through your back, pressing down into the mat, looking towards your belly button. One more time, arching that back, bringing your chest through, looking up. And arching up with your back, looking in at your belly button, pressing away from the floor. And coming down to seated on your mat. Awesome job, guys. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, we'll see you soon. I should be heading home from Mexico pretty soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. And I'll see you when I get back. Bye.